Hi, I'm Mireya. Good morning, my name is Kat. My team figures out the chemistry on the small scale. And then it's time to scale up for clinical trials. Normally when I arrive, the first thing I do is I go to the office, drop off my things, and then I get a coffee before I get onto my emails. If I were to describe Maria, it'd be fearless. I think she, she definitely the, uh, the jet fuel of, is of the Mechan Scale Lab. <laughs> Synthetic chemistry is someone that makes molecules. My role is how to scale them up so that then it can move to manufacturing later on. That's something that really excites me to think that something I make in the lab ends up with a patient and actually can help their lives tremendously. Now I'm going to show you the scale up lab, which is where the magic actually happens. If you follow me, you can see some members of my team. My team is entirely lab-based, so pretty much we are all the time in the lab. Uh, and we discuss a lot of the things that we need to resolve in the lab as well. This is what happens. As you can see here, I have vessels of different sizes. Normally we get into things like this to optimize reactions in vials. And then from vials, we go to little round bottom flasks, as we call them. Once we are happy, we go into the five liter vessels. Like for example, this one is a five liter, but from there we can go all the way to 30 liter and 50 liter in the, in the kilo lab, for example. Once we identify a compound that can be a potential candidate to treat a disease later on, this will need to be scaled up further. So you need to keep that in mind to make the life of Ketan easier. The first time a compound is made, it's made on quite a small scale. It's our job, it's my job to scale this up for a clinical study. One thing is to make milligrams of the compounds, but then another thing is if we ever had to do multi-kilograms or up to tons, how do we go about this? So I'll give you a quick tour of the labs. Here we have a couple of the 50 metre rigs. Got a nice filter. That's how we isolate it. You've got a sink. You know what a sink is. Here are the 20 litre rotor vaps. So this is where we take it off the solvent and we isolate our solids. So that's a nice round fishbowl. Got some development kind of vessels here. This is the oven with dry raw material, obviously. And um, this is the cure lab. Collaboration is very key to how we work here. We share a lab, uh, we share the equipment, and we, most importantly, we share the data, we, we share the knowledge. Hey Maria, back the camera. How's the NMR looking at this batch? Hello. Yes. What happens is that uh, small scale, small problems, big scales, big problems. When you have a reactor, you have a phase separation, which means you've got uh, an aqueous layer that sits normally on the bottom, and then you have an organic layer that sits on the top. It's like oil and water, right? They separate, and normally they separate quite nicely, but sometimes there's some slugginess. So for me, that might mean I need to wait an hour for them to separate. But when you move to a 50 litre reactor, it might take a day, and that starts adding to the campaign. So it's these kind of things that you need to bear in mind and discuss really into the detail. In the Kia lab, we will only work on one asset at a time because of the scale we're working on and the number of stages. Once that has been performed and the data that comes back good, it's then made on an even larger scale for a clinical kind of study. And that's where it's kind of make or break for the compound. We have endless, or what seems like endless resources to do our research, which is great. And this is how we are so fast in delivering compounds into the market. Thanks for joining me today. I hope I've given you a taste of what it's like to work on scale up. I hope you had a nice uh, experience and you learned how we actually do chemistry in a, in a real lab. And uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs>